Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mello, broker associate and owner at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Today we're in Sunbridge, Florida, which is really close to Orlando, Florida. We're gonna show you a community by Del Webb. Del Webb is an active adult community. They have multiple communities throughout the state of Florida. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the home behind me. The home behind me is a three bedroom, three and a half bath home with 2,808 square feet of living. The base price at time of filming, which is January of 2024, is gonna be $899,990. Now that is the base price. You do have to add lot premiums and upgrades to that. We're gonna show you this model home behind us that has a ton of upgrades, including a pool. So the price of a home like this will be significantly higher. They do have an inventory home available right now for $799,990, just to give you an idea. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the community, about the home. So as we walk up, we're gonna have a paved driveway coming into a three car garage. Right now they have a bunch of landscaping in front of it. That's because it's a model home. They'll take all that out and put a drive in way in when they do sell the model homes. And then we come up to a covered patio and a door in front of us. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this home. They go ahead and close the door behind me. So as I walk in, the first thing you know is all the upgrades in the home. The floors are done with these really nice ceramic tiles and we do have wood floors in other areas. Nice wide hallway. As we go right, we'll show you bedroom number two. All the bedrooms here have their own bathrooms, so they're all en suites. So we come into this, we do have the wood floors and in front of us, we have a bed, which is a queen size bed. You can easily fit a king size bed here if you want it to. Windows looking out onto the front yard. As we go over to the corner, we have the bathroom that's connected. As I go over, they change over to ceramic tile floors. We have the gray cabinet, solid surface countertops, mirror light fixture. Behind us is the tub and they have the gray tile going all the way up to the ceiling. This one also has a walk-in closet. Now, the one thing I would have done in this specific home is change these wire racks to a nice custom closet. That would definitely up it a little bit for that luxury home feel. Let's go back through this hallway. To the right is the half bath where all your guests can use. It just has a pedestal sink and the mirror light fixture and toilet. This is a linen closet. Behind the door over there is a coat closet. As we continue down the hallway, you get a really good view of what you see when you come into the home, which is the kitchen and the dining room and the windows looking out to the backyard. But to our right is an office, wood floors, really nice space, window looking out to the side. They did some really nice woodworking all the way around on the, all the walls with a crown molding on the top. They put the recessed lights in, a nice feature that I do recommend if you're building a home to get those little extra recessed lights. So let's continue to the main living area. As we come to the main living area, we go to the right. The right is the family room. The family room is a large size family room. They have a really nice accent wall done in gray behind the TV. And above us, what really stands out is the tray ceiling with the wood beams going across. Crown molding all the way around, couple windows looking out in the side yard. Behind me, sliding glass door looking at a covered patio and the pool area that we'll show you later. Now, of course, the pool is a big upgrade that would not be included in the base price, so do keep that in mind. Next room would be the dining area. Nice size dining area, enough space for eight people to sit around beautiful lamp, lamp fixture coming down from the ceiling. Mirrors on the far side and windows looking out onto the pool. So the kitchen, one of the best parts of any home has to be the kitchen. This is a nice gourmet kitchen. Right in front of us is a center island, a large center island currently set up for three people to sit, three pendant lights above us, but you can easily fit more people here if you so desired. This one does have some cabinets on the ends for some storage, so you have plenty of storage space and has a full pantry over the other side. Uh, as we come over, we do have the kitchen aid appliances, so you have your side-by-side -side refrigerator. And we can keep on going down. We have our oven under a gas stove. So this is one of two ovens, so it's a really nice location for an oven. Nice backsplash, woodworking around the air vent that gets vented outside of the home. Great cabinets on the other side of the kitchen is the center island where the great cabinets continue and the dishwasher sink also. So as we continue through, we have more storage on this side with the cabinets, backsplash and cabinets with crown molding, and also on the end of the island, more storage. So lots and lots of storage in this kitchen. As we continue, we have the oven, convection oven microwave combo. And as we go into a butler's pantry, we have the beverage refrigerator and wine rack where you can put all your wine glasses and wine bottles. Full walk-in pantry. Another thing that can be upgraded with some nice wood shelves. Let's go down this hallway. Behind this door is the air handler. As we go down, we'll go left. We have a little drop zone. So as you come through the garage, you have a little space to do this. this is another upgrade that this home has. And through this door is the three car garage. 
so you have plenty of space here and they even have some extra storage on the other side so you can put some nice shelves or a wood workbench or whatever you want on the side as well as fitting in three cars. So epoxy floors as well. So let's go ahead and go back through. To our left is going to be bedroom number three. Wood floors, nice bed and end table on your side, window looking out on the side yard. This one does have its bathroom right here. So as we come into the bathroom, we have the gray cabinets, solid surface countertops, mirror like fixture. This one does have a shower with the frameless glass and the gray tile going from floor to ceiling. Right next to that is going to be another walk-in closet. This one's at a really good size. So you have plenty of space here for everything. Again, I would put some custom shelves in this closet. So let's go ahead and show you the laundry room. So follow me this way and to the left is our laundry room. Washer and dryer. This one's got lots of upgrades, all the extra shelves, even a sink in the laundry room. On the other side, more shelves, and of course a counter for folding your laundry. A little closet, that door goes into the primary bedroom closet, so that's a really neat feature. Right from your primary bedroom, you can come into the closet. So let's go ahead and show you the primary bedroom, but let's go this direction. Now, if you're thinking about moving to Florida and with more, like more information about the communities here in Florida, whether it's Sunbridge or, um, at Everby or wherever it may be, even Lakewood Ranch, check out our other channel, me and Haley, who's filming today, my daughter. We have another channel called the Mike and Haley channel. We have, we'll link it in the link in the description below. And on that channel, we go into a little bit more details about each of the communities and living here in Florida. So here's the primary bedroom, really beautiful floors. We have the same sort of accent wall that we had in a family room, crown molding around, nice light fixture coming out, windows looking out to the backyard where you can see the pool. Nice size, king size bed with end table on your side. Let's go ahead and go this direction. We have our linen closet. This one does have two closets. This is one of the two. So they come in here again, just imagine how much space you can fit in here if you put the built-in shelves, really good space. As we continue, we'll go over to the bathroom. So we have the ceramic tile floors on the far side, the great cabinets, solid surface countertops, sink, mirror, light fixture, two sinks, so everything you need. This one does have a nice size shower. As we come in, we have the hexagon tiles on the floor. Really cool colors, all different colors, but they look like uh, pieces of wood in gray. And then the tile going all the way up to the ceiling with a little window for some natural light. On the other side, we have our water closet, which is nice and private. And then closet number two, this has got a lot of closet space. So the second closet, again, the other one was pretty big. So this is, gives you some little extra space through this door, goes into the laundry room. Nice design, I like how the primary bedroom goes into the laundry room, I think that's really convenient. So let's go ahead and go and check the outside living, living area. Right off the family room, you have the sliders that open up on both directions so you can have the outdoor and the indoor living together. Your dining room, your family room, and we go to our covered patio that has another dining option currently with set up with a dining table with six chairs all through the covered area. The covered patio goes all the way over to the left. So you have a little sitting area here where you can sit, enjoy the Florida weather, like the beautiful day we have today, overlook your pool. So the pool that they put in here, of course, this is a big upgrade. Put something like this in, it's gonna probably be a little bit over $100,000 just for a pool. We have a lap lane going back and forth, a little tanning shelf, and this really cool wall with the four waterfalls coming off of the wall. So that's this house. If you're interested in more information on this home, make sure you contact us. My phone number is 407-487-3030. You can call or text anytime. Also, make sure you go over to our other channel, the Mike and Haley channel, where we talk to you a little bit more about the communities, especially if you're thinking about moving here to Florida. So I well, thank you all for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.